My husband called me at work. I worked at the Canton Dairy Queen. And he called me and he asked me what Kenneth's last name was and what Barbie's last name was, in which I told him. And he said, you remember what you and Mary was talking about on the phone? And I'm like, I mean, on the, about the news, about the couple that abused the kids. And I'm like, yeah. He said, it's Barbie and Kenneth. And I said, no, it's not. It can't be, no. I was outside taking a break and my sister drove up. And when she drove up, I knew it was, I knew it was Lauren. They loved Lauren because she was Lauren and because she was their daughter, uh, not because she was a story or because of what she had gone through. The first day that Bill and Sabrina Cavanaugh were able to visit with Lauren was immediately following our very first court hearing. Um, I left with them from the courthouse and went over to the hospital. Um, we were met by the doctors who were concerned about why we were there and, and reintroducing or introducing new people to Lauren. Um, they had gotten standing at that court hearing, so they actually had um, legal rights to have some contact with her. But they didn't want to do anything that would harm her either. They were perfectly happy to just look at her through the window. We knew who she was right off from the other kids. We knew who she was. Bill Cavanaugh smiled and said, she looks exactly like she did the last time we saw her. She was so cute. I mean, you know, even though she was frail. It was like those six years had disappeared and here was their baby again. She was literally the same size. The doctor said, I, I wanna introduce you to somebody. You know, she said, this is Mr. and Mrs. Cavanaugh. And she looked at the doctor and she said, is this my new parents? Which right there, just, you know, just, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It just kind of melted you. Bill sat down in one of those little chairs and she offered him some food and he, he just was so happy to have her back. They, it was so clear that that little girl, when she went home, was going with them. There was no other place in my mind for her to be.